Most of the Queen's cousins, children and grandchildren are due to attend the Platinum Jubilee service of Thanksgiving at St. Paul's Cathedral, one of the key royal outings of the bank holiday weekend. The monarch, 96, has had to cancel her attendance at the last minute, with Buckingham Palace saying, taking into account the journey and activity required to participate in tomorrow's national service of Thanksgiving at St. Paul's Cathedral, Her Majesty with great reluctance has concluded that she will not attend. In a statement, Buckingham Palace added the Queen greatly enjoyed her birthday parade and fly past in London. She is believed to have experienced episodic mobility issues during today's celebrations. It is understood the decision was considered regrettable but sensible due to the demands tomorrow's service would require. Yet, she will attend a beacon lighting event at Windsor Castle this evening, the palace confirmed. It is not yet clear whether the announcement will more widely impact the four-day schedule of Jubilee events. The news follows a series of health hiccups which became known to the public in October, when the monarch spent a night in hospital. Later, she had to cancel her attendance at a series of engagements, including the COP26 Climate Change Summit in Glasgow as well as at the Festival of Remembrance and the Remembrance Sunday Cenotaph service after spraining her back. Then, a positive COVID test that was said to have left her feeling frail sparked concern among royal watchers. At the time of her diagnosis, a palace spokesperson said, Her Majesty is experiencing mild cold-like symptoms but expects to continue light duties at Windsor over the coming week. She will continue to receive medical attention and will follow all the appropriate guidelines. The Queen's pullback from tomorrow's service has not been the only one. Earlier, Buckingham Palace said the Duke of York has tested positive for coronavirus and will no longer attend the event. He was set to make an appearance at what would have been the largest gathering of the royal family since the wedding of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex in 2018. It was also due to be the only official Platinum Jubilee event Prince Andrew would attend. A palace spokesperson said, after undertaking a routine test the Duke has tested positive for COVID and with regret will no longer be attending tomorrow's service. Charles will officially represent the monarch as key workers, charity volunteers and members of the armed forces will celebrate at a Thanksgiving service. More than 400 people, who have been making a difference either nationally or locally, will be among the guests at St. Paul's Cathedral tomorrow. They will join members of the royal family, but those hoping to get a view of the Queen will be disappointed, as she pulled out having experienced some discomfort during Thursday's events. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were spotted smiling at cheering fans as the couple drove through London during Queen Elizabeth II's Platinum Jubilee celebrations on Thursday. However, reports have now stated that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are also expected to make an appearance at the National Service of Thanksgiving to celebrate the Platinum Jubilee which will be held at 11.30 a.m. today. The service will include Bible readings, prayers and congregational hymns to recognize and give thanks for the Queen's reign, faith and lifetime of service. Royal author Omid Scobie wrote on Twitter confirming the appearance, details below on tomorrow's hashtag Platinum Jubilee Thanksgiving service at St. Paul's Cathedral. The service, which I'm told the Sussexes will be attending, includes Bible readings, prayers and hymns, to recognize and give thanks for the Queen's reign, faith and lifetime of service. The Duke and Duchess made a brief appearance during the Platinum Jubilee on Thursday morning when they watched the Trooping the Colors parade from the Major General's office.